Hold on guys, I'm trying to set us up. We're going to do a test run and try to go live from my she shed. So I'm just trying to get this video brought up. Okay, so bear with me just a second. I'm trying to pull it up, make sure I can see it. And then I may have to adjust it. Oh, of course I have an ad. Looky there. Okay, so then skip. Bear with me guys, bear with me. Okay, hopefully you guys can hear me. Let me know in the comments below because I have it muted. And I think I'm probably gonna just leave it like this. Looks good enough to me. I know that you guys can see like this setup here and stuff over there, but it's what ifs. And maybe I can bring it in a little bit is what I'll kind of do. So just bear with me. We're gonna be shaking. Let me know in the comments below if you guys can see me. And I don't know if I can see the comments. Let me try and see how I can see the comments. Okay, anyways, let me know if you guys can hear me. And I'm just gonna try to keep watching it. Hopefully we can start doing lives from the she shed. Now I won't be able to change my angle at all and hopefully it won't shake too much because it looks like my table's wanting to shake a little bit. All right, I'm gonna scoot you guys in. So just give me a second. I'm just trying to still set up my, my area. I'm gonna pull this up here on my computer too, just so I can see what's happening. Cause I can't really tell, I can't see the comments. Let's see my channel. Just a second, bear with me. Okay, I see it moving in. So yeah, you guys are behind me. Okay, so let's see if I click this, hit mute. Maybe I can see the chat. Cause I don't know why I can't see it from, okay. There's a lot of you. Okay, I can hear you, I can hear you. Okay, good morning guys. I can see your comments now. Now, it's gonna be all over the place. Bear with me, this is the first live from the She Shed and if we can pull this off, we're gonna start doing lives. So, fingers crossed, everybody, I mean fingers, toes, everything this morning. Hopefully you guys can hear everything really good. I know it's a mess, bear with me. Um, my sister's gonna try to run the chat this morning. Hello, Amanda. Um, if you guys have any issues with it lagging or anything, let me know and I'm gonna play it back. Fingers crossed that everything works out good and hopefully nobody calls me. Um, let me actually, hold on. I see where I can actually message, hold on. Yes, and I'm live. The girl next door is messaging me and I'm live. Okay. So now let me go back over here where I can see you guys and let's get started. Let me refresh. All right, skip ad. All right, looks like hello from Wisconsin. All right, okay, putting it back up here, hopefully we, we can see. All right, I had to reconnect it on my phone. So hopefully it's going to clear out now. If it does, hopefully it stays good. All right, just waiting. Okay, I think it's clear now. So where you guys can see it moving, that's where I reconnected. Okay, it's back on. All right, let's see. Hopefully it's clearing up too because it looks a little fuzzy on my end. All right, I'm going to proceed forward. Hopefully everything goes good. You are golden now. Sweet. Thank you guys so much. All right, let's see. Okay, back on, back on. Now, let's fingers crossed that we can figure this out. And if not, maybe I can get some boosters out here to make it work a little bit better. And I'm gonna bet you somebody probably called me and that's what happened. So next time I'll turn that off. All right, so let's go ahead and proceed forward so that way we don't lose it. Today's video, love catching you live. Love that you guys are here. Um, today's video, let me go ahead and scoot over here to Cricut Design Space, is I've been back and forth. So with everybody, you know, for the holidays, everybody's going on the diet or they're going to try to, you know, be better. We're all going to the gym, something. So I thought today's video, I was either going to do, we'll run for tacos or there's a super cute one that says, I run because I love cake. So it's like, I heart cake. I'm going to do that one because I will be able to mix several colors. So we're going to have two different browns here and um, we're going to be using the parchment. This is called parchment and then brown a black for the words and then the font if you will and then this one we're going to use again for the pink because the top's pink and then the heart's pink i think that'll be cute so it's going to give us multiple colors to work with so i think that's what we're going to do i know i can't show you guys i'll try to do it this way and see if you guys can see it i don't have you guys pulled up any other way but hopefully you guys can see this design but that's what we're doing and i'll put that back down here all right so now i'm going to figure out so i'm going to bring y'all back to make sure y'all can see and bear with me it may get a little bit shaky Let's see. All right. Now, my sister's going to kind of run the comments a little bit there. So, hopefully, um, everything goes smoothly. All right. So, 
let's go ahead. The first thing I like to do is measure my shirt to figure out where I want my design to be. And this one is a medium. And you guys know, I love using the Cricut ruler. It's the three by 18. If it's a bigger shirt, then I'll use the six by, was it six by 26, six by 23. So let me show y'all really quick. So if you're gonna be working with a bigger shirt, you can use this one as well. But instead of coming down here and working from the neckline, you would start it at the top of the shirt like that. So if that makes sense, and then you would have that three inches down and it just kind of helps make it a little bit bigger. So you have two options there. Now there's other things out on the market like the tea ruler and all that stuff. But this one is super affordable, especially when Cricut has their sales. So I feel like I'm out of breath because I'm like trying to figure it all out this morning. Okay, hello, hello from Ohio, Baltimore in the house. Hey girl, hey. Okay, so about 32 of you guys watching. You guys make sure to hit, oh, thank you so much, Candace. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is figure out where I want my design, how big I want my design. I'm gonna try to scoot this over here for a second. And we're using that new Peach Kiss. I think the color's coming in better over here, maybe. I think it looks a lot better, you guys can see it. It's super cute. Okay, so what I do to find my design, first of all, I know I'm coming down three inches, so I'm, I have a window here, so I can figure that out. And then I'm gonna bring my ruler over and I like my designs to kind of go across the shirt. So I'm either thinking 10 inches or nine and a half. I think I'll do nine and a half wide. Hopefully you guys can see this. And I'm gonna switch it over so the mat, it helps it not glare. All right, that'll help. And I have another one of these rulers somewhere. I need to get a dark, one of the darker ones. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do my design like nine and a half wide because that's gonna give us somewhere right in here I don't know I'm gonna go for the 10 I'm back and forth if I go 10 wide let me type that in and see what, what I would get so if I go 10 wide I know you guys aren't gonna be able to see my Cricut design space but bear with me all right let's see 10 wide that will give us nine high so let us give us somewhere around in here um if I do nine and a half let me type that number in really quick 9.5 by 8.71. All right, I'm almost thinking that. Let's just go by nine and a half. Let's do that. I'm gonna hide my other design. So basically, you guys are here to watch me do my video live because I've been sick for the last two days. I'm really still kind of sick. Let's see. Yes, it's three inches wide, much better. Okay. Um, I've been sick for the last two days. I'm still a little bit sick, but I wanted to make sure today's video went up. So the plan was to get up super early, drink my coffee, come out here, record, upload. But I thought, I'm just going to test to go live. So, hey, it's working so far. All right, so this is what I've got so far. My design is, once again, I know you guys can't see this. I'll try to bring it over here. So my design so far is 9.5 wide, and it's 8.71 high. Hopefully I don't have glare, because like I said, I can't see right now. Um, so this is what we're cutting, and this is what our colors are going to be. So this color here, hopefully you guys can see once again, is parchment. We have brown, of course, which I'm not too big of a color. I'm not too big of a color. I'm not too big of a fan of this brown, but it, it's happening. It's almost like a red brown. I need more of a chocolatey brown, and I don't think they have that in iron on. Um, and then we're doing black for the font, and then once again, that pink, this pink. Hopefully you guys can see this. This pink here will be that super cute pink again. All right, so let's go ahead and get this thing cut out. So I won't be able to see my comments for just a minute. And I'm trying to make sure my internet don't freeze so I can't see everything at once. So if y'all want to keep chatting, my sister will try to answer comments. And the girl next door may jump on too at some point. She may already be there. I just don't know it. All right, so I'm going to hit make it. And then I'm going to go ahead and mirror everything right off the bat. I know once again, y'all can't see me. Y'all can just see this. Um... And I'm actually in my pajamas out here, guys. And I look like a hot mess, but you can't see me. All right. Because I, you know, it's my she shed, right? If it was your she shed, you'd be in your pajamas, right? Okay. So we're going to start with the black. So the black's first, then the brown, the parchment, and then the pink. The first thing I like to do is get out my, um, I knew I was forgetting something. But luckily, it's right here. All right, I'm gonna jump back over, make sure y'all can see everything still. Everything looks good. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is take out my uh, paper trimmer and cut everything down to size. So that's what we're gonna do first. Once again, I'm gonna shut this little guy. 
And here we go. So we're going with the black first and I need to cut it nine inches. And I've been just leaving the width so that 12 inches and then trimming it later. You can do whatever you wanna do. So we're gonna slide this in here and go to the nine inches. Yep, looks good. Trim that. Set that one out of the way. I'll move all those in a second. All right, the next color I need to trim is going to be the brown, and it's going to be a two inch by four, but I'm going to do a five. So two by five, and I will trim this one down. This is the brown, and I knew I should have taken this tape off, but I was like, no, I'll do it on camera. It's fine. I was trying to hurry up and get that on the live for you guys. All right, and I need to turn this heat down because that is a little bit too hot. I've been so, so sick. My daughter had bronchitis, and I know I don't have bronchitis, but I have something. All right, let's see here. I'm so pumped. Creativation's coming up. I only have like less than two weeks now. All right, two by, all right, let's see. We've got two by five is what I'm gonna cut it. So I am gonna cut this one down. So I've got my two. I try to really hold it down because if you guys have ever been cutting on this and then it slips and moves, <laughs> Been there and done that a billion times. All right, hopefully you guys can see. I'm gonna check it again. Everything's looking good. All right, and we've got by five. Hopefully you guys can see me cutting here. Let me double check that. All right, you guys can somewhat see me here. All right, so I'm gonna get this trimmed by five. I go a little more than what I need, so that way I have wiggle room because I don't like to cut it right on the line. And then I have this extra for later. And then, what color do we have next? The parchment. All right. Parchment we're going to do by five, and it's going to be seven. So I'll trim that down as well. All right. So we're going to do a five by seven. And it is a little close, so I'm going to do a five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. And I always do the shorter part first and then the longer, so that way I don't waste it, if that makes sense. All right, and then by seven. All right, I know you guys can probably barely see me cutting here, but hey, you get the point, right? All right, by seven. All right, by seven. All right, there we go. So we've got that piece. Got our brown, we're gonna get that out of the way. And now our pink here. So this is the thing, I'm gonna show you all really quick. I'm gonna bring it up, all right? So this is the thing, hopefully you guys can see without glare and ignore my screen, it's really dirty. Okay, so the pink here, this is one thing that drives me crazy, but at the same time, it makes it easier to line things up at the same time, but I'm gonna explain. We are definitely gonna separate this. Um, I can either hit cancel, which is totally fine. I'm going to go ungroup these things, see if I possibly can. That way these can go side by side, because if not, you're going to waste all this. Or whenever I cut it, which actually is probably what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you. When I cut this, I'll actually trim this piece out and save it. So that way I'm not wasting it. Instead of weeding all of that, uh, we'll save that piece. If not, if you're fine with it, you could just weed the whole thing and lay the whole thing down. But I'm actually going to have mine in two pieces, which you'll see in just a second. So I need this to be nine by five. Once again, I'm hoping you guys can see that stuff. All right, it looks like y'all can. Okay, so here we go. It looks like everything's still okay. Everybody can see everything. Everything's looking good. Let's see, ladies, let's plan all to attend Creativation 21. Who's with me? Yes. You guys for sure, and it's in Arizona. Go to creativation. I think it's either .org or .com, one or the other. You'll see. Um, I'll try to link it afterwards, and you guys can check it out. There's so many classes. You could take classes with Tim Holtz, uh, Jane Davenport, um, so many people. Um, there's really cool stuff. So, all right, let me go back over here to Crooked Design Space. So we need to cut this nine by five. Nine by five. All right, so we've got the five, which let me make sure, hold on. Oh, and that's what I want to pay attention to too, because my design, I want it to be straight up. So I'm actually going to cut this in this direction and we're going to have it nine. So I'm going to make sure, hold on, wait, 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 nope, five. See, I have to, I have to keep telling myself. So I have to, do, I'm going to do it nine by five and I'm going to explain myself because 
I'm making sure that my design is staying in the direction. I'm wanting it in this direction with these going up. So I make sure when I cut it this time, I paid attention to my pattern. All right, and it's gonna be by eight. So hopefully this whole thing was by eight. And that's good, I don't need to trim that down. So there we go. So there's that. We're gonna get this out of the way for a minute. We're gonna open this up. I'm gonna move my shirt for a second. I'm gonna double check y'all can see me cut. So I'm gonna switch over here really quick. I think y'all be able to see everything. And take our top off. I'm gonna use the green mat today. I really love the green mat. If I had to choose between, especially with working with iron on or vinyl, will be the green mat. My blue for my paper, card stocks and stuff. But I still do use my blue sometimes for this. But if I was gonna choose one, it'd be the green one. All right, I'm not mad at it. All right, let's see. So let's go back up. We're gonna start with the black. I'm gonna get that on here. Let's go ahead and get this on the mat. It's made by nine. So it's gonna go in this direction here. Remember when you're working with iron on, the color's actually gonna go face down. Somebody asked me um, in my comments below, they thought with the pattern that it was gonna go face up. Only if it was the Sparkleberry vinyl because, vinyl, iron on, because hers doesn't have uh, the top coat on it. If, I, if you will. I think I've got that. Hopefully nothing happened, hold on. Let me double check, okay, looks good. Somebody called me, but hopefully it clears out. It looks like I froze for a second. Okay, I think everything's still good. All right, here we go. I knew that was going to happen. Next time, we'll definitely turn the phone calls off. All right. One time, me and the, the girl next door was trying to do that and trying to turn the, the calls off during the live, and we couldn't figure it out because I had approved the calls through Wi-Fi, and that's why it was still working. <laughs> okay, so I have to pay attention to that, too. All right, so I've got this down. I'm going to double check. Y'all can see. All right, here we go. And just bear with me, guys. This is my first live back, like I said, and we're doing a test. So hopefully everything looks good, and I know I'm probably all over the place. I tried to be prepared. All right, here we go. So we're going to load this, and then we'll chit-chat while I cut, okay? So we are going to load the first one here. And I'm going to try to put it in two times speed. So I'm going to use my handy-dandy dial that you guys have seen me rave about. And we're going to put it on iron-on. It doesn't need to be on iron-on plus, just iron-on. Um, and then when it comes to the pattern, I do go to custom and choose the pattern just to make sure it's really good. Everything else will be iron on and let's choose two times. So I'm gonna hit continue and it's choosing. Nope. It's trying to choose my maker. Hold on. I'm going to have to go back for a second. Um, yes, I forgot to change. I was working with the maker this, uh, the other day because I was trying to cut you guys seen, if you guys make sure you guys watch my stories here on YouTube, I've been doing stories and I showed my Cricut maker. It's probably still up cutting, um, embossing metal. So make sure you guys are watching my stories here. Let me see really quick. Hold on. I'm trying to go backwards because I forgot, like I said, to switch my machine. So we're going to go back to the Explorer family. Then I'm going to hit make it, and it's no big deal. Everything's the same. I just need to make sure and mirror everything again. All my sizes are the same, so it doesn't matter. There we go. I'm going to hit continue. If you guys hear loud noises, that's my dog. He's outside there. He's making sure he wants inside. He's like, listen, ma'am. Okay. We're going to choose the Air 2. All right, now we're just gonna wait for it to load really quick. And I'm gonna get this going and then we'll all check up with the comments and stuff. So just bear with me. I'm gonna double check, make sure everything's good. I know I'm probably driving y'all crazy saying this, 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 but like I said, it's the first time back and I'm all over the place. And I'm really wishing I could have like a second cup of coffee. All right, let's see. Sometimes, um your machine because of the bluetooth and it's like if you could speed that process up that'd be great but i know it's the wi-fi and especially since i'm pulling i think the wi-fi i think it has something to do with that Ooh, and i do have it on usually all this footage gets cut out so just bear with me while we're waiting for that it'll be a second anyways i'm going to switch back over let me see what all we have let's see oh metal yes okay and it looks like we're freezing a little bit now, hopefully because of Cricut Design Space. This is what happened last time. I'm, let's see. Uh-oh. Trying to think. Oh, let me switch my internet. Let me switch it here. Hold on, guys. Bear with me. I think we're froze. 
Let's see, chat is connected. I have to reconnect up here. Nope. Chat is disconnected. Please wait while we reconnect you. Okay, I think it's I think it's frozen. Y'all may be able to hear me. Y'all may not be. Okay, I think we're back. All right. So I'm just going to create design space. A, possibly bog us down. This happened before, and that was one thing that made it super hard. And I really hope not. So what I may have to do for future videos, if this is the problem, hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, if this is the problem, then I will have to cut my stuff out first and then we'll make the t-shirt. So just bear with me for a second. So if I can't get this to load, what I'll do is I'll shut it down. I'll get everything cut out and then we'll come back and finish. So just bear with me. Let's see. Hey from Norma. Voice is coming through fine. I just hopped on. I can hear you. Hello, hello, hello. Um, let's see. My feed is good. Good deal. Design space is not. You know what I can do? I forget these things. I can connect this. Um, hey, Amanda, if you can hear me. So my sister, shout out to my sister. Hopefully she's watching at this moment paying attention. Um, message one of the girls and tell them to bring me the piece that I use to upload my chips, my memory chip to the computer. Um, if that makes sense, tell them to bring me my piece that I use to upload my footage. And then, um, I can connect my computer that way. That way I'm not doing it through the Wi-Fi, if that makes sense. So to tell one of the children to bring that to me. And I might be able to do it from my iPad. So bear with me. Let me try that. Hold up, guys. Bear with me. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to directly do it. But if you guys, and I'll show you guys really quick. It'll actually be a good tip anyways. Um, if you guys have moved up to the new Mac laptop, um, you guys now know that you have the USB to C. So it's a very small USB. So you have to have an adapter. And that's why I'm making them bring it. You have to have an adapter to connect your um, cord now. So um, that's what I need them to bring. So let me try to message over here. Let's see. Let's see. Bring... Memory chip reader. Okay. I'm telling her I'm live still, that way she don't. Okay, go. Hopefully she will hurry. Let's see. Hi, Amanda. Hello, Amanda. Okay. Hello, hello. So in the meantime, while we wait for her, we'll just sit here and chit-chat. Okay, you guys can barely see that. Thank God you guys can see my little chip thing. I'm watching the video back right now. Um, but yeah, so with the new computer, you have to have this thing. So you guys are going to see that now. And I need to look because I'm going to need my... Um, okay, she's messaging. Um, okay, she's coming. Yay! Okay, shout out to my daughter, Sassy. Good job. Okay, so here we go. I am going to... While we wait for her, I'm going to grab the cord that we need. So bear with me for a second. All right. So what we're gonna do is I need to connect this to the back of my machine. All right, so I'm connecting this piece here. Hopefully you guys can see it. This piece to the back of my machine. Yep, that is exactly what I need. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna bring this forward and here we go so this is what you're going to need so if you guys and this one i think is made by it's designed by apple you can get these on amazon you can get them from the apple store um and it's called a usb to c adapter so it's going to have this in here that will actually fit in your computer and then this piece so now your cord can go from here this is only if you guys have upgraded to the new max at all okay and then now i can connect that piece here there we go. Now, I think we should be able to keep rolling. Here we go. So, I think, so I'm going to refresh, and I should be able to have it going fast. I am smart. Look at that. We saved the day. Maybe. I don't know. Let's see. And I may need to, I know I've already cut with this machine. No, I have not. That's the problem. I haven't used this yet. This is my problem. I'm using, I'm, 
<laughs> this is my life. I'm choosing. I'm choosing the wrong machine, guys. I'm choosing my blue one. All right. So let's see. I guess we could set this thing up. Let's go back over here. New machine setup. Here we go. Let's hit. No. Let me say. Hold on. Yes. Bear with me. This is my life. Okay. So the reason why this is not working is I have not connected this yet. So I'll actually walk y'all through that really quick. Um, to show you. So I'm going to save this really quick. Hit cancel. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Hit save. And that way I don't have to worry about that. All right, here we go. So what you're going to do, and hopefully you guys can see this, like I said, because the glare. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit those three lines right up here at the top, and we're going to click new machine setup. And it's the Explorer family, so we're going to choose this one right here. So you have the Maker, the Explorer family, or the Cricut Easy Press 2. And I'm going to choose the Explorer family. Hopefully, like I said, y'all can see this good. All right, please power on the Cricut. So it's asking you to plug it in, which we've already done all of these things. So now and it's, it's powered on. We're going to hit Continue. And then select Update Firmware below. Um, the power button will change color when the machine is ready to start. So select your Cricut device, which is going to be the USB one right here, because we have it connected to the USB. And then it says the machine comes with bundles, da, 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 da. it's telling you all the stuff that it comes with. We're gonna hit continue. And then you get one month free, which I'm gonna say maybe later, because I've already got one. You're only a cut away, no thanks. So I don't wanna do the project, but if you wanted to, you would hit continue. And I'm gonna hit maybe later. And it says adventure starts now. So start designing. So now we're ready. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my design. I'm going to hit make it. Because I don't need to go back to customize because I'm already ready to go. And I'm going to turn these on. I'm going to mirror them. Once again, ignore my machine. My machine. My laptop screen because it's dirty. So you see more. And then everything's already cut. Okay, give me a second. I think we're reconnecting. Right. So hold on one second. It's loading. We're definitely going to have to figure this out because I'm hoping we can do less. All right. I think we're coming back. Somebody let me know. The second I come back, somebody let me know. Yay. I think we're back. I think where somebody's called me. So I do need to turn that off next time. And I don't know if I can do it while I'm live. We're just going to try to roll with it. I think we're back. Somebody let me know. And then I'm going to hit go. Back again. Yay. Here we go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit go. And hopefully it does not freeze. And if it is, it's because of Cricut Design Space. Um, and like I said, we will just come back. All right. It's back. You're back. Here's, now we're in the fast mode. You can hear it. It's going. You can see how fast. I love fast mode. So definitely highly recommend it, depending on what you're doing. If you're doing something that's super teensy, 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 um, intricate, I wouldn't do it. Um, just because you, you're, you're going to, you could have potential issues. But with stuff like this, I do throw it fast mode. And it really helps, especially when you're in a hurry. You guys can see how quick this thing is going. All right, hopefully nothing's froze. It does look a little bit, like, fuzzy on my end. But hopefully that, okay, it looks like it's clear now. All right. So I'm going to go through and read comments while we're waiting on that, which is probably going to go really fast. Let's see. It's already at 47%. Let's see. Okay. And I'm sorry if it's shaking a little bit because of um, I'm used to using a different camera setup. So this one's not able to control uh, the shake. All right. And I think we are at... 65% and I will actually do the same for the other pieces as well. We're going to cut it all in fast mode. And you guys are going to be able to see how live, how fast you can cut stuff out if you were in fast mode. So that's pretty nice. I think we are almost done with this one. We're at hundred percent. There we go. All right. Just like that. So fast. So you guys can see those cut lines. Hopefully everything looks good. And like I said, this excess, I'll trim that off. I just use my paper trimmer or scissors. All right, and now we're gonna load the second color, which is going to be brown. So I'm gonna get that on there. So this little piece of brown. So you're just gonna get that right up in that corner. Oop. All right, just like that. I'm gonna leave it on fast mode. And it's left on iron on, it's still the same thing. And we, I'm gonna double check it's my brown one. And then I'm gonna hit go. 
All right, let's see. I'm going to use Fast Mode tonight. I was nervous about it. Hey, I'm telling you. It, and I remember when I first got mine, too, um, which was several years ago. Uh, see how fast? I couldn't even do anything. It's already done. Um, I was scared, too. But don't be. I mean, take it. And if you want to, take a scrap piece and do it first. But you can see there's no issues whatsoever. It's just fast. All right, so we're going to do parchment, I think, now. So we're going to get our parchment. And I want to make sure I line it up here on the right way. So it needs to be seven by five. So it's going to go in this direction here. All right, okay, so it's going to go in this direction. All right, let's see. It's froze. It's froze. Okay, I think we're back. So that one was so fast that you guys didn't even get to see it cut out. So it was fast. So now we're going to work with, I'm going to let it, um, it's freezing again. So hold on. Bear with me, guys. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do now is with the pattern design. Bear with me for just a second. I think we're almost back. Hold on guys, I'm still waiting for it to come back. Let's see, for some reason it's still frozen. Right. Hopefully it's fixing to fix itself. 